let's fix an interaction that will open up a chest or something like that. Okay, so let's move the prop barrels on the side because there's not really a need for them right now. And uh, let's bring one of the chests. So basically I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go outside, close all that, paste it, then move the view and down here. So I'm going to remove the mass collider and we do have a frame and interaction. Let's see. Close now. Mm, okay. So let's go through our scripts. I can hook local okay so we need to actually go found it so let's see on our controller do we have interaction Okay, that's not it. Then on our imp manager, inside late update. Here we are, interactions detection, and we're searching for an eye interactable. Okay, let's see where we have our interactables we have a door hook a pickable hook and a bonfire hook on the door hook i think we could reuse the yeah i think we could reuse this the open door okay direction type okay no direction status status doesn't matter Okay, so I'm going to move target animation. I think we can reuse this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This, I'm going to treat this as a door as well. So let's add a box collider to this. Then a door hook. Let's say chest one. Let's save. Interaction type open. And here's what else we're going to do. We're going to use an event. And then on interact, we're going to say on interact dot invoke the reason for that is not only we're going to play the animation just from that and actually i guess we could just remove the, the the door hook entirely let's save target animation let's say target animation let's just say open Okay, let's create an animation for this. Well, let's do assets, art, animations, other, lead open. Okay, that will be the open. Let close. And I'm just going to copy, basically just move this, and then just set it back to zero. 
So we now have an animator to this. So it will start as close and when we trigger the open it will just say open. Okay, when we trigger the animation. Okay. So, instead of the door hook, I guess on all of this, we can keep this. We can keep this. Oh, that's the target animation. Target animation for the player. Let's say. Actually, no, we don't really want this. We can keep this. Okay, target animation. You load the direct status, direct it, and then on direct. Okay. All of this should be fine. Then, on interact, drop this here and we'll say set trigger, open. We don't ne need the door animator, but we can drop this. Then, in here, we're going to actually create a pickable object. Okay, we don't have that. So we will create an empty game object. We will add a pickable hook. We can add some particle effects underneath it. Uh, that's maybe too much. Okay, so this it's going to be closed. We can say, I don't know, let's pick up another great sword. Pick great. Let's say great sword. Direction type. Pick up. Okay. Then, on interact with this. Game object. Game object. Set active to true. So, on target animation, we let's play the bonfire. I think we have on our player a bonfire animation. We have a drink. I'm just going to play the bonfire ignite since we have that, and it's going to look like he's opening a chest. Should play. Okay, so a couple of problems. The animation didn't play. I think it's because it's set to static. That will be one of the problems. We need to set this to navigation static, however, so we can bake the navbus around it. Okay, then. That should take care of the lid not opening. And we need a, a rotation override. So he's actually looking the other way. He's actually looking the correct way. Okay, sit play. Okay. 
there we go and we can pick up an item well we cannot pick up the item because we have hmm. yeah we cannot pick up the item I guess right now so first of all let's see is interactive interaction tab is open close after interact Oh, yeah, the pickable hook, first of all, let's see, this is just pick up item, okay. This one needs a sphere collider or something. Can make this a trigger. Is it directed? Then uh, let's also assign door hook. Enabled equals false. Okay, now we got a couple problems because he's actually using the same collider so basically it doesn't take it as a new collider so we should also maybe do this it will make this false but it should have taken that if you're interacted it's not used anymore so disable interaction hook is interacted let's see where this is used yeah let's use here so interactable but if interactable is Yeah, we need to have a way to know that the interactable has been interacted with. So that means bool is valid. So if interactable dot is valid, okay, then on pickable hook. Let's implement this. Is valid will basically mean if this is enabled or not. So active or game object dot is active in here. On the door hook will mean if it's interacted or not before. Return not is interacted. I think we might have the error, one more error. So we don't need to have the collider now be disabled because we're simply going to be ignoring the interaction there. Let's wait till this compile. This takes forever. Okay, so finally it unfreeze and there is a error. Implement the interface and well the bonfire you can always interact with the bonfire so just click return true. Yeah, so this compile times is gonna be the death of me. Okay, so finally we're back. 
Let's try that. Okay, and then we pick up the item. That is, of course, the photo K is behaving. Uh, I kind of like it, so I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, okay, we now have we can open chests and stuff like that. And we can, of course, break through barrels. We can also make this uh, night damageable for the chest. It's going to depend. But yeah, we at least did what I wanted to do, which is, of course, to add the chest, the chest logic. We are, yeah, well, we're working on some secrets. Uh, for some new animations even so yeah I'm just going to leave this at here so yeah that's how you can create chests if you want and you can pick up items from those chests okay you can see that I now have two great swords Okay, let's see that again, just so that we are sure we had our chest, that we did pick up the the swords. Okay, you can see now I only have one, one sword, then I'm going to pick up the item, and I'm going to pick up the actual item as well, and now I have two swords there we go now of course we can't tailor when the when the other item appears but I think I'm going to wait till we have an animation that actually opens the chest because there's not really a lot of point to that but yeah, you can also see a little bit of a sneak peek of things we're going to to do in the future, in the very near future for all of this. So you're just going to have to wait and of course feel free to support on Patreon so we can actually keep continue making all of this and you'll see some stuff that are not yet done. So with that, let's end this part as well. As always, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff, more videos, more series, more of everything, then of course, your support on Patreon is always what keeps us keep doing this, and we're going to do it until, well, until we cannot anymore. So, I'll see you next time.